We all know that driving and using your cell phone at the same time is a really bad idea. It distracts you from the road ahead, can lead to accidents, and in an increasingly large number of places around the world, can land you with a very large fine, citation, or worse. But what if you could use your cell phone to control your car? No, I'm not talking about that scene in Tomorrow Never Dies when 007 escapes the baddies by driving his BMW 7 Series from the back seat using his Ericsson mobile phone. I'm talking about using your non-secret service smartphone to drive your presumably similarly non-secret service car. You know, just like you'd control a car in a race game with a controller. Would you want to? Would you trust yourself? Or does that just sound way too far-fetched to be true? Well, it turns out the fact is sometimes stranger than a fiction. Ford has apparently just applied for and received patents for so-called non-autonomous steering modes that would allow a passenger to take over the control of an autonomous car simply by asking for control of the vehicle using a dedicated smartphone or tablet app. No, this isn't April 1st, I'm not joking. Yes, it's true, although I'm obliged to note that with most patents, whoever applies for them, they remain unused. In the automotive world, patents are often applied for and never used. I'm going to guess that this manual control of an autonomous vehicle thing is one of them. The patents were discovered by CarBuzz and seem to suggest that Ford is seriously considering a system where the car's onboard computer system can interface with a smartphone or any device with a suitable accelerometer, gyroscope, and processor to allow people to take over steering control when desired, or perhaps required. In order to engage the mode, the user, I guess this point where they would be a passenger, would ask the car for permission to take over the steering and enter into one of two so-called non-autonomous steering modes. In the first, the car would ask the passenger to align their smartphone or tablet with the car's wheels. It's not clear how this would work, but I'm guessing, as does car buzz, that the switchover would only happen if the car was stationary. From that point on, the car, once synced with your phone, would be able to respond to inputs from your phone. Turn your car left with your phone and the car will turn left. Turn right with your phone and the car will turn right. In the second of these two autonomous steering modes, the smartphone or tablet requesting control over the car would display a virtual steering wheel on the screen. Drivers would then control the car's movement with their finger, which now I come to think of it is very similar to that James Bond 7 series. Sure, millennials have been operating smartphones seemingly from birth, and there are plenty of racing games you can play that you control using on-screen controls in the accelerometer on your phone. But real world, there's a big difference between controlling a virtual car using your phone and controlling the vehicle you're sitting in. What happens if you get a message on Telegram or get a friend request on Facebook? These are questions I'm sure someone out there will feel the need to answer. In the real world, however, I can't see anything like this catching on, at least for now. Yes, automakers and software companies are seriously looking into ways to remove traditional vehicle controls in order to make the inside of autonomous vehicles a little more like a lounge and a little less like a traditional car. But honestly, I think this is a long way away. Given that many car drivers don't even trust conventional cruise control or lane keep assist, I can't see this catching on anytime soon. Do you agree? Would you want to steer your car with your smartphone? Could you see problems? And what happens if you drop your phone mid-corner? Leave your thoughts, serious or silly, in the comments below. Well, that's it. Don't forget to give us your thumbs up or your thumbs down. Leave a comment. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell just below. As always, thanks to our Patreon supporters, without which we'd not be able to produce any daily content for you all to enjoy. We are, of course, always welcoming of new Patreon supporters at patreon.com forward slash transport evolved. And now we do have an additional reason for you all to join up. For the month of October, we are selling our very own special Halloween t-shirts designed to scare OPEC. Anyone can buy one now by following the link to our shop below. But if you are a Patreon supporter who donates more than $5 a month, you'll get a store-wide discount for the entire month of October, including that limited edition shirt. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep evolving.